We're living in turbulent times. We're seeing the emergence of new geopolitical actors. We are seeing challenges that require from international cooperation. All of these are reasons why the Paris School of International Affairs was created. Located in Paris at the heart of Europe, but with a desire to ensure every corner of the world is well understood. Equipping our students with the knowledge, the skills and the experience not only to understand this very complex and fast-changing world, but also equipping them with the ability to shape the international order of their children of tomorrow. Our students go uh, from philosophy to law and um, economics, so elements of economics as well, but also then evolve into a more really practical oriented course, uh, looking at programs, uh, looking at uh, uh, real life experiences and look at that from a critical perspective. Feminist foreign policy is a very new concept. With this course, I'm looking to offer students a very practical feedback of what it means to be working either as a diplomat for a government, uh, for an international organization, as a civil society activist, even working in a company, working towards advancing gender equality. The only way to understand NATO is to play NATO. Terrenia is a role-playing exercise for my students where they play decision-making at the highest level of NATO. So they develop skills in negotiation and also an understanding of the organization. The NATO Hackathon was a big competition between 10 world leading universities which aimed to support secretary generals to face the problems of the next decade. Personally, I learned a lot about how NATO can use technology or what is a realistic way for NATO to set up some measures to safeguard the population in a postmodern conflict. Youth and Leaders Summit really helped us develop our public speaking skills, which are so, so crucial if you want to work in international environment. I really gained a lot from my participation, especially my topic was about the cooperation between China and the world on combating the global uh, climate change. I have the opportunity to be connected with the most important influential experts on this topic. My involvement in the Youth and Leaders Summit was to basically organize breakout session with the former president of Colombia, uh, Juan Manuel Santos, who also happened to be Nobel Peace Prize laureate. We had a great talk with him and the rest of the students at the Master in Advanced Global Studies. For my master's thesis at CIA, I conducted a study on online harassment against journalists. I, I interviewed um, over 25 um, people dealing with this in press freedom organizations, in uh, journalists, professional associations, and individual consultants and researchers. We were to lead a research project for the IFD um, during four months. We were to study the past interventions, state building interventions in fragile contexts and countries that were in crisis and we were to give recommendations for companies for their future state building operations. I did my internship in local network of United Nations Global Compact in Indonesia under Women Empowerment Division for target gender equality program. It is an accelerated program for a more ambitious target in women leadership for the private sectors within global compact communities. We came together last year to create this platform called New Global Perspectives. Our niche is to feature subject matter experts and to give them a platform in the international policy debate that where they can present their ideas through short opinion pieces. The purpose of Declic is to allow students and recent graduates to elaborate their ideas, discuss with experts, with your teachers and a lot of people to make sure of afterwards that you can put in place your proposal into law. CIA definitely helped us looking at a new vision of public action in France but also in Europe, brought us an incredible community of students, very diverse from all around the world, that we could benefit from having different point of views and finding convergence. And what we're trying to do is just ensure them that they are well trained, that they do have the skills necessary to do this, to have faith and to not 
make too quick decisions to take the first job that's offered, but really to think about what they want to do. We're trying to encourage them, enable them to do so, and we're here to continue to support them for the years after they graduate to do that. We have every confidence in our students, and we just want to make sure, um, as far as possible, that they also feel confident in themselves.